Welcome to Here in Taiwan. I'm Natalie So. The Kuomintang Central Standing Committee approved a motion to revoke Hong Shouzhu's presidential candidacy on October 14th. The motion will now be put on the agenda of the Extraordinary Party Congress on October 17th. KMT Chairperson Eric Chu bowed twice in apology to Hong and party members, saying there was no other option. Hong released a statement saying she understands the party leader's anxiety over the election, but that was not an excuse to confuse right with wrong. Kuomintang Chairperson Eric Drew bowed twice during the party's Central Standing Committee meeting on October 14th. The bows are meant to convey the party's gratitude towards Hong Shouzhu for putting herself forward as a presidential candidate. They were also an apology as the committee decided to revoke Hong's presidential nomination. Zhu said the party has no other option. He added that the KMT will become a united party that shoulders responsibility and brings the people of Taiwan together with its cross-strait policies, values and beliefs. The motion to revoke Hong's candidacy will now be put on the agenda of October 17th's Extraordinary Party Congress. Hong also issued a statement via Facebook where she says she did not realize that party leaders intended to replace her. She added that she was as dedicated and loyal as Hua Mulan, only to meet the same fate as UFA. Hong stated that she understands the party leader's anxiety over the election situation, but there should be no confusion between right and wrong. Meanwhile, the committee intends to use the applause method to vote on the motion to replace Hong during the Extraordinary Party Congress. It has asked local chapters to sign a petition to replace Hong so that it can draft Drew as the presidential candidate. If Drew's nomination is passed, he will be the first person to concurrently be a presidential candidate, party chairperson and New Taipei city mayor.